One year has passed since the mass uprising in central Kiev that led to Ukraine's former Russian-leaning president Viktor Yanukovych fleeing office. The barricades and burning tyres are gone, but the snow-covered Independence Square, or Maidan as it's known in Ukrainian, bears reminders of the violent clashes that claimed the lives of around 100 people last February. Large photos on stands and small pictures of the victims sit beside candles and roses, a commemoration to those who lost their lives in the name of democracy. Natalia Boykiv's husband, Vladimir, was shot dead the night of February the 18th last year. A year has already passed. We are certainly learning to live without a dad, without a husband. It seems like everything happened yesterday. I remember everything, every gesture, his every step, smile, every phrase. It's difficult, but life goes on. We have children, we need to live, we need to fight. Natalia recounts trying to prevent Volodymyr from going to Maidan. Hours later, her phone conversation with her husband suddenly broke off. Natalia says this must have been the moment when her husband was killed. Ihor Kolchitsky, whose father, Vladimir, was also killed last February, said the uprising gave many a special sense of unity. Maidan was a kind of a pass. You let a person closer because he stands next to you at the same scene when you're in danger. There were many such people. This is why Maidan was different from other places. It was dangerous, but at the same time you were getting some kind of energy. Ihor's father lost his life during the night of February the 18th. He recounts spending the whole day and night at Maidan with his father. Vladimir was shot dead near a barricade not far from Maidan. Ihor hopes his father did not die in vain. God gave him the death of a warrior. It means that must have happened. What's important is that this should not be for nothing. And here is the answer, that people suffering such losses, most parts of Ukraine suffering such loss like boys in the anti-terrorist operation, the Heavenly Hundred will not be able to leave it as it is. We need to bring everything to an end. Commemorations to mark one year since the revolution will take place across the country over the weekend.